Ini mah connected. Seliman University, as a leading Christian institution, committed to total human development for the well-being of society and the environment, adopts my soul, the gateway to Seliman online distance learning and flexible learning. As the official learning management system of the university, MySoul is an all-in-one, web-based teaching and learning platform where teachers can organize offline activities like assignments. MySoul is capable for flipped learning, micro-learning, classroom gamification, and personalized learning, which ensures all forms of engagement, such as chat, assignment, activity tracker, forum, feedbacking, ebook, and many more. MySoul runs 24-7 in any web browsers. Students can also download MySoul mobile app for easy access of the course content, progress tracking, notifications, and other activities. Is anywhere, anytime. MySoul hosted several support services, such as the guidance and counseling office, student government, and other student services. Chat with our librarians through the virtual library in My Soul. My Soul is administered with your friendly and responsive technical support who are always there for you in times of your technical challenges. In chat, email, and calls. Hi, I'm Ellen Nizuria Paalan Vasquez, an incoming grade 10 student. So, the first question is, as a student, what do you like most about my soul? Adjusting to a new mode of learning is difficult. However, the my soul platform structure and content has made it easier for me to adapt to the new normal. I really think that is impressive and that students will be able to maximize all its services. Moving on, how does My Soul help you in your learning experience? The different tabs and sections on the My Soul platform has helped me become more organized. I can keep track of all my lessons, assignments, and deadlines because it's easy to navigate. It truly caters to the student's needs when it comes to online learning. Hello, I am Jose Paolo Chavez, an incoming third year student from the College of Agriculture. I am taking up Bachelor of Science in Agriculture major in Agronomy, and I have been enrolled in the mid-year classes of 2020 and also the summer term classes of 2019-2020, both of which were online. And uh, we have been using the MySoul platform as a medium of instruction. And what do I like best about MySoul? Um, in terms of online classes, I could say that my soul is really complete. It has uh, the evaluation features, um, methods of lecture and medium modes of delivery. All those things are provided very well in my soul. And the delivery of education maintains its quality over my soul. So I've been grateful enough to be to experience or to have experienced a number of subjects which have been taught very well. Um, the video, I have to mention the video and audio conferencing platform, Big Blue Button. Uh, it really has a lot of features which are unavailable in uh, many familiar video conferencing platforms. Um, Big Blue Button allows the student to do all sorts of things. I'm thankful and my soul is by far a really good experience in terms of online education. So. 
how does my soul help me and my learning experience well apart from my soul being a platform for of course the delivery of the teachers um, it also incorporates the different accounts of Suleiman University which can offer their own resources and help as well uh, shout out to the library of course the SU virtual library has been incorporated within the my soul platform and there's a lot of uh, versatility in terms of approaching the information there's a lot of versatility in receiving the information as a student as well um, overall it is a different learning experience compared to the physical learning experience but it helps and it maximizes the use of online learning so it really helped a lot in my learning experience overall it's a very commendable platform for online education i hope uh, the incoming school year will be a fruitful one for both, of course, the teachers and the students themselves. Thank you. Hi, I am Raya Regina Aguilar, an incoming second year medical technology student, and I have been taking up my summer classes with my soul. And one of my favorite parts about it is that I can post up anything that I want from any format such as Word documents or PDF documents in a non-complicated way. My soul has helped me so much in my learning experience. As an introvert, I do not usually join in discussions. However, my soul has given me the opportunity to do so because I can post up in any open forums that I want with no complications at all. Now that has been my experience with my soul. My soul upholds its core values in online distance learning experience, making students as critical thinkers, transformative Christian witnesses, effective communicators, and independent, reflective, lifelong learners. Our core values remain unchanged in online distance learning, that an integrated, inquiry-driven approach prepares students to succeed, that students learn in different ways and my soul carries the responsibility to support these differences. That developing a passion for learning requires a pool of faculty members passionate about teaching. And that collaboration, creativity, flexibility, and willingness among all constituents are key. As the transition gives apprehension and anxiety to some, Silliman University, through my soul, is excited for the new possibilities in store for all. To our community of learners, stay safe, you all. As we open the new school year, we welcome you to My Soul, a learning management system that is a platform for S O U L. Silliman Online University Learning, so Our trustees, administrators, faculty, and staff are together in our drive to expand the learning frontiers using the tools of 21st century education, now fast-tracked by the COVID-19 pandemic. Silliman University is on full gear to online distance learning from face-to-face -face instruction and is also working on a blended learning environment. Seoul expands our learning frontiers, promoting student independence in learning to critical adoption of available information, concepts and constructs available in the internet world. In this way, teachers and students will have a vast array of options to support their pace, style, and depth of learning. While social interaction is challenged in this pandemic, the platform ensures dynamic and interactive activities between and among students and teachers from kindergarten the graduate school, Seoul will ensure fulfillment of the university's commitment to
to quality holistic education by putting the learners at the heart of the teaching learning process. As well, so incorporates other key student services like online guidance and counseling, virtual library system, ecumenical faith programs, cultural activities, and many more. Silliman University invites you to an exciting new world of education. Before the webinar begins, rename your Zoom name to your complete name and department and or affiliation so that we can easily identify you. Kindly mute your microphone when not in use. Next, switch on your video if your connectivity allows you. If you have questions with regards to the presentation, there will be an open forum right after. Please type it in the chat box or use the raise hand reaction button in Zoom and unmute yourself. The session is video recorded. Recordings will be made available at the Silliman Online University Learning website. Heavenly Father, we come to you in this hour, asking for your guidance and protection to our virtual gathering today. We thank you for the gift of life, the gift of family, the gift of work, and the gift of friendship. We thank you for this great opportunity to bring us together in this session as brothers and sisters. Bless the committee, the facilitator, and the attendees of this gathering. May we continue to value and appreciate the true essence and meaning of life with the help of your grace. And as we go along to our discussion today, we humbly pray that you would deepen our understanding. Lord, enlighten us and give us wisdom every day. Forgive us for our shortcomings and remind us to always be mindful of the things we do in life. We offer our life and our decisions to you, O Lord. May this gathering today create a memorable experience and a fruitful outcome. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Redeemer and our Savior. Amen. Hi, mayong hapon sa tanan. Um, welcome to the second leg of our series of retooling entitled Resources, Activities, and Classroom Management in Hybrid Modality. So this afternoon, it's hybrid modality. So I would like to, yes, I would like to welcome our face-to-face -face participants. Uh, I see people already waving there, um, as well as our virtual participants, welcome. And uh, speaking of our topic for this afternoon, let me give the floor 
and screen to Dr. Dave E. Marshall, the Office of Soul Director for the rationale of this afternoon's topic in connection with the other modalities within the series of um, webinars or high, high flex uh, webinars that we will be having. So, Sir Dave. Okay, good afternoon. Thank you for coming here. And of course, to our Zoom participants, I think we have about 37. We are 37 in the Zoom. And we are about three, five, ten in the room here. So 10 versus 37. <laughs> versus good. So uh, yesterday, we started our training on the retooling on the limited face-to-face -face instruction. For sure, you were one of those also that when you received the memo, uh, limited face-to-face -face last May, it was okay because you totally understand what limited face-to-face. -face. But then when there was this phrase on 100% capacity, or oh, that was the time that we were we were uh, puzzled on what to do because how we define limited face-to-face -face then. So that basically we were trying to decipher um, the memorandum and at the same time pedagogically introduce to you the different modalities of limited face-to-face. -face. Um, because of COVID, e-learning really fast track. The landscape of e-learning really, really fast and it changed uh, very fast. Uh, two years ago, we were here in this laboratory, uh, two to three years ago, I think, and there was a massive training and uh, we were so stressed how to learn my tools, how to incorporate, and then we learned about the word flexible, flexible learning and so on and so forth. Then we had no choice at that time than to offer uh, our courses in a full online distance learning. So this afternoon is the second of the series of retooling, uh, second of the four uh, sessions related to limited face-to-face. -face. Yesterday, we started our opening salvo uh, that talks about blended learning. Let me share my screen so that our audience, both uh, on face-to-face -face and um, Zoom will see my slides. Yes, hold Alfie, please uh, confirm if you see my slides now. Yes, sir. It's visible. Okay. So blended, hybrid, high-flex uh, teaching strategies for limited face-to-face -face instruction with 100% capacity. We will highlight that because uh, we will limit our discussion on the context for Seliman University. For sure, uh, we see a lot of announcements from different schools on social media. UP released theirs like uh, last Saturday, Mapua, UST, and many universities. Many universities still accept actually full OBL students. No? But for Seliman, it is already clear to us, at least for the college, based on that memo, that we will go into the limited face-to-face, 100% -face, full capacity. That means, at least in the college level, based on that CMO, we will not cater any more students who could not come on campus. That's as of that memorandum. So, okay. Um, before, we know this. I remember two years ago also, we tell you about the different guidelines and the opening of the face-to-face -face classes. 
And this was highlighted particularly um, on the implementation of the limited face-to-face -face from during the part in the 001, this was introduced or it was for the allied health sciences. Then immediately after then there was a guideline that any program, non-health sciences can actually apply for unlimited face-to-face. -face. So that is why at Siliman, last May 7, we had an official declaration that Siliman is now on the limited face-to-face -face in all programs according to the discretion or the definition as defined by the academic unit on how they deliver, on how they define limited face-to-face. -face. During this months also, our definition of limited face-to-face -face is like this. Limited face-to-face -face pertains to restricting the number of students to attend, okay, to attend face-to-face -face classes in campus in any given day based on the degree programs or courses they are enrolled in. And there were very specific teaching strategy cyclical student shifting, rotating schedule, and physical distancing and other health and safety protocols. Looking at this, and for sure, when you receive the CMO, the memo from register of the 100%, then we can say, Hala, the definition of the limited face-to-face -face refers to the number of students who can come in my class. Okay? And before also, we know that students who would not participate in the conduct of limited face-to-face -face classes shall continue to be governed by the CMO number 44 series of 2020. This is actually the implementation of flexible learning. That's the CMO, implementation of flexible learning. That CMO, CHED Memorandum Order, tells us that any institution are given authority to offer different forms of flexible learning modality. That is why Seliman, we opted two to three years ago, we opted the full ODL. Other university, nag inang, inang gitawag is modular. It's actually still distance learning, but not online. Modular distance learning, as is the full online distance learning okay i remember way back uh, uh in april we had a workshop to it was just simply an appreciation of what high flex modality is because this was the time that high flex was the buzzword high flex daw put up ba ang siliman of equipment, kung budawat kami of full ODL student, and so on and so forth. So there were so many interpretations, no? Because for one, modality, basic ramangod ng meaning of the different teaching modality as far as technology is concerned, we can actually play around and we can even have our own menu and our own requirement as far as technology-oriented modality is concern. Then here comes May 17 or May. That was the time that we released that we have a limited face-to-face -face graduation. Before that, our our uh, second semester late na towards May, pwede na kumutang mag-limited face-to-face and so on and so forth. But our definition of limited face-to-face -face by then is based on the number of warm bodies Gathering, congregating together in one instance. That was limited face-to-face -face because of that CMO. Starting first semester, we received this, right? We received this memo. Limited face-to-face -face for early childhood school. Shall begin in August. Uh, proposal safety. Then, at the last bullet, it states that Flexible teaching modality will continue to be a strategy through the sole learning management system. 
So limited face to face from early childhood. So unsa man na siya na nawag na ang ginikanan kay eh, ma-unload na ba mi? Mo bantay pa ba yung isang mo ang anak? Na pa ba na pa ba real time mag Google Meet pa ba, mag Zoom pa ba? And so on and so forth. Those are really valid questions from the stakeholder. That is why we are here today in this workshop, really defining how we define and how we implement limited face to face, not just simply for the early childhood. Then there was also item number two. There's also item number two limited face to face for elementary school up to graduate school. Then bullet. First bullet, limited face-to-face -face classes at 100 capacity in the elementary school all the way to graduate school will also begin in August 2022. Then this bullet, uh, open opportunity of so many questions and inquiries, not just simply from the students, but also for the teachers. Even our office receive a lot of questions, no? Ngano ko no? Uh, Balik-balik yung kundi yung tudlo. So those are actually valid because those were siguro terms nga na-receive and na-capture nila because it's a high flex kay na na-politicize ang word nga high flex uh, delivery or actually modality. Then the same flexible teaching modality nga nung gigamit ang word flexible teaching because that is by law. The law states it's flexible learning. And we are covered into that. No? We are covered into that. Modality will continue to be a strategy through Seliman Online University Learning, our electives. Then there's provision about the gate, church services, air conditioning units, and the uh, loose auditorium. That is why like air kunta. No. <laughs> in this training, we are in, in high flex, actually, no? because we have face-to-face -face, uh, participants. We also have from our Zoom participants, high Zoom participants. Okay. And then, because of that, another memo was released. This is for the clarificatory advisory. Why limited face-to-face? Why 100? And kung saon? No, maulaw ng mga tana actually. O kung saon? Kasi garang inquiry that we receive from our office is like this. Nanu ka buot buot mo? Wow. <laughs> Kami pa dyan, buot buot. Why 100%? Why limited? So, officially, this is a refund. Because effective first semester. Effective first semester of school year 2022-2023, we will be utilizing our classroom full carrying capacity for face-to-face -face classes. So, for example, if a, a certain department, let's say CCS, will offer 54 courses, all 54 courses can, can be delivered according to schedule. In the CMO on the limited face-to-face -face mangot, it was very clear that scheduling must be properly implemented in such a way that there is always a 1.5 social distancing and so on and so forth, that the lobby will be free from and so on and so forth. Madugo to siya kay all the scheduling techniques he appealed to. And that's really part in the guideline when we offer limited face-to-face, -face, that joint memorandum order 004. Okay? So now, starting August, we can go back to our own scheduling, but this is still the catch. Questions like, Sir, 100 capacity man kaha? And you said in the CMO, it says here in the CMO that health protocol should still be implemented. And basic health protocol, 1.5 social distancing. So how can we question like, how can we maintain 1.5 social distancing for a computer laboratory of 40 students? Right? No, 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 no,
Now, say tubag, nga to ang COVID-19 management basis to that. Ang tubag is atong basahon ang memo. So, ang basahon na to ang memo is the memo states that 100 full capacity. Therefore, if you have 40 students in a class, pwede doon kang mag-classy the 40 students at that time. Okay. Sige. That's why 100. Why limited? Because while the university is going back to utilizing the full capacity of our classrooms, we are not entirely abandoning the online distance learning modality. Very generic na nang gigamit, no? We are not abandoning ODL. In other words, it means that we are not abandoning of what we know, blended learning, hybrid learning, and some other modalities. In other words, we will not abandon uh, my soul as our official learning management system. The green there, just want to emphasize colleges, schools, institutes may at their discretion and good judgment utilize ODL as a means to deliver some aspects or stages of their assigned subject. That means if if you are teaching, let's say, physics 1, it doesn't mean that from day 1 to day X, na ay technology ang inuhang discussion. Muna yung meaning diha. Because in reality, which I will explain later, na lahi ng definition sa limited face-to-face. -face. The limited face-to-face -face now refers to contact to our students not necessarily on the number of students at one time. Did you get what I mean? So now, our limited face-to-face, -face, that refers to our contact to our students. This is again, um, ato pa nang gihap because there is still COVID, no? Pero dili na imunana sa damaging. It is therefore limited in the sense that our classes and activities will not at this time be fully going back to pre-pandemic methods and modalities. Techno-pedagogically, very much 1,000% agreed with Kwani. That is for us to be relevant <laughs> with our millennials, the millennials, the Gen Z learners. No? And sayang ang skills and content that we were able to accumulate during the two to three years. The question now, sir, is we have the content, we have the skills. How can we transition that from full online to the limited face-to-face? -face? That's our intention for this workshop. So what everyone is expected, we go face-to-face -face at full classroom carrying capacity without abandoning my soul. The determination of which subjects or aspects of every subject that basically refers to your topic, to the learning outcomes, to your activity, performance, task, knowledge check, and everything will be left to the discretion and good judgment of every college. Kita ang una, kita man ang teacher. No? We know more of the other colleagues on how to deliver our class. But, the path priority is students. Dili kay it is because I do not know man, so dili po na. No? So student centered. <laughs> so student centered ta. Uh, because we know that our students are more constructivist this time. They love to see images, they love to see symbols and and then uh mga multimedia and everything. That's what my my point of saying that student centered and uh, para mas student centered, butang na to ginagmay ng mga technology para mas enjoy si estudyante. Okay, so we know also from this that we should not abandon my soul because we know already about synchronous learning, right? Uh, Na pa jud actually manggid nga bare regular na ila hang busy lang virtual classroom. Their argument is wala jud ni asynchronous. 
because our subject is not for asynchronous. Ngayon din ang inaanak, no? Uh, ato nang gawa to, because namo po yung modality actually ng remote learning. UP, nag-emphasize sila of remote. Acceptable, one of their menu actually is remote learning. Kanang remote learning is basically wala kay wala kay baguho ng imo lang eh, pigil ng tagsunod. All day, your time, 8 to 12 or 8 to 10.30 MPH, mag-beat ka na sa klase. Uh, remote, synchronous, even the performance na ako dito, and then mag-check ka. So, that's remote learning. Synchronous learning. To us, naka-schedule ta because we're not fully synchronous. We're not remote learning. We decided actually on that five minute learning or the full ODL, just to more acceptable term. So we have synchronous, we have asynchronous. It was so nice planning sa basic education, no? Kaya naka-schedule din yung inyong synchronous time, asynchronous time, and so on and so forth. Ang college, more open si college according to teacher's discretion. <laughs> so there are some nga nagsabot. O sige, Monday, synchronous, Tuesday, asynchronous, and so on and so forth. Now why I show this? Because some are, this will also guide us in our transition from full ODL to the limited face-to-face. -face. Para dili ng technical kaayo, maybe we will just look at enhancement and transformation. I want you to reflect and maybe look back for the past two to three years, kung sa may nakita bo sa inyong transition, was it simply a substitution or really you redefine your learning outcome you redefine your performance task. You redefine your formative and your other forms of assessment. What we observe from the office, um, na sa enhancement during, especially during the first year, substitution nagyud siya na hitabo. Mao maglisod o move on nga kinahanglan yung maglive all the time. Kay the uh, ang koan is dili jud makaya if dili ko makadiskas kinahanglan jud mo discuss wala pa kaayo ta makadetach and fully accept and embrace the bicyclonous learning for one the students are not were not ready also when the of the so called self paced learning okay? especially on the uh, lower level grade level no okay? guided gid sila dapat teacher guy uh, guided sila then we know about flip learning during asynchronous. Uh, this is the time where we keep on posting and bombarding a lot of readings to our students. Uh, and then attend in my class after reading one hour video <laughs> you know, or after watching and so on. That's flip learning, meaning all the lots or the lower order thinking skills, activities are delivered asynchronously. Then when you attend to my live session, which is more on deepening and discussion, then the students learn already the basic understanding. We, we also highlighted micro learning for one, technologically concern, technological concern, uh, avoid making materials, which is like uh, one gig material, which is difficult to download. Uh, students are so disengaged with your content because it's so boring for basa 20 pages. No? So things like those. So we introduced this, flip learning, micro learning. Then we had a lot of training about personalized learning. Concerns like, no no pili mag cheat ako estudyante or wala joy submit submit ako mga estudyante because they are disengaged in terms of assessment. So we can uh, apply or we can uh, promote personalized learning. All of these are features in my soul. We offer a lot of training about H5P, how to gamify, para si Sujante may enjoy while taking the quiz. It's not just simply all about multiple choice, true or false, nga dali, I cheat or I control F sa mga Sujante, perfect na. Diba? So, Gamification, gamifying assessment, gamifying delivery, gamifying content, and so on and so forth. With this also, let's also equate this 
with this memo from the Commission on Higher Education that flexible learning is the new modality in the new normal. There's no turning back. No? Uh, let me quote. Uh, from now on, flexible learning will be the norm. There's no going back to the traditional full pack face to face classroom. The commission has adopted the policy that flexible learning will continue in school year 2021 and thereafter. Wala pa ni, bago pa minag meeting si check, wala pa gibi siya mausog, wala pa ni siya gibi. Because kay bago man ato ang president, uh, wala takabalo, basi hindi ay jod po, o ibalik na sa full pack, full classrooms. Although the basic education stated da, that the five days interaction, five days, should start by November. No, that was the release of the secretary from the basic education. Mabalik na to five days face to face. But it doesn't mean nga mawala na si technology. No? But ayun lagi hapon na to ang skills on the technology. So uh, yesterday we started the workshop on blended learning. There are three major modalities as far as technology enhanced flexible learning is concerned nga with face to face component the blended learning hybrid learning and high flex learning okay so blended learning uh ako nang review i'll be uh, gave or or uh, explained this yesterday learning happens in face to face session and online with both modalities integrated into a passive learning experience and online materials and activities are meant to complement, supplement, and build upon rather than replace face-to-face. -face. There are three variants that we offer here. Uh, conventional, enrich, and advanced. Yesterday, we did an activity. The number one na choice is the conventional or advanced. Oh, enrich, sorry, enrich. Kanin conventional, ako na yung further explain, mga pre-pandemic pagdudan siya, mo nang gitawag na siya conventional. No? So, ato radyod ng sabton, kay na, na ako dyan, no? Na maglisod pag sa technology. No? Alalayan lang na to, in teaching is highly recommended, and then na, uh, maybe na ay maka-assist, and so on and so forth. Variant 2 is enrich. We discussed this already yesterday. Enrich, uh, the enrich is the use of your pre-recorded videos uh, during lecture and knowledge depending. So, yung ni Alti yesterday while nag-discuss ka, yung gamitin ito yung mga lecture. Yung mga siyang stop kung kinahanglan ka update or kinahanglan yung mong i-depend yung mga discussion. I know some na tagduhan na doon ng subject but so many sections kung balik-balik ka tag-historia since you already have the pre-recorded material you use this. No? Para sa adma, uh, you can save your energy in talking. Okay? Uh, that's the one. And then the variant three, na blended modality is the advanced. So, use of pre-recorded and nakalahi lang, nakadiferensya lang is the assessment here is proctored exam. It's either BYOD or we can find a computer laboratory that we can borrow, no? Or pwede siyang tumaman, etc. Uh, physical therapy department, nagamit na na sila BYOD, or finally ka, kaya ka na sila, kung ano na sila. Sila man ang nakatry yun sa katong original limited face-to-face. -face. So, ilang mga final exam proctor, the students will bring their laptop, and then, actually, dako nga mura room, na enough for a big, a big size of class, and at the same time, not may mga internet connection or Wi-Fi. Okay? And then, for this afternoon, we will talk about hybrid learning. This will be discussed by Sir Fredley. Just, pati una, just an introduction. Hybrid learning, in contrast with blended courses, hybrid courses replace much of the face-to-face -face with online interaction. And a significant portion of the course takes place online. Ang blended learning, because it was pre-pandemic, katugin ni 8 to 9.30 ang classes. 8 to 9.30 na, ang mo ka sa klase. 
no? Uh, if MWF maugi na siya, malit ka gamay, wala na, malit na siya. <laughs> While the hybrid is a portion of your 54 hours to be, to be delivered online. That online has two options, either synchronously or asynchronously, which is explain further in Sir Bradley later. There are three variants that we could offer also. The flip hybrid learning with synchronous hybrid learning and the rotational hybrid learning. That's for this afternoon. And next week, Thursday, Monday, we will talk about Hyflex as a teaching strategy, not anymore Hyflex as a teaching environment. No, kay Permina Tumadungan Mangod is a uh, high flex classroom. Oh, that refers to the environment. Here, uh, what we are trying to what we are trying to decipher and, 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 and uh, share with you is we're trying to map out and how we can how we can design high flex as a teaching strategy applicable in our learning plan. So high flex combines the term hybrid and, and flexible. And each class is offered in person, synchronously online, and asynchronously online to provide a flexible experience and multiple modes of participation. We offer three uh, variants here, the during lecture, the during skills, demo, or validation, and during assessment. Kani karon atong gihimo, we are doing actually high flex. Okay? High flex uh, during lecture, no, and it will be further discussed by uh, next meeting. Without further ado, I'll give the floor and the screen, <laughs> the floor and the screen to Sir Fredley, our training specialist, to further illustrate to us, give examples, show the virtual classrooms of the three variants that you can choose for or if you will opt for hybrid learning. But before that, let me remind nga, since na take notes sa mga variant, uh, it doesn't mean that if your class will choose blended learning, blended learning na nagsilang ka na, and usa na po ka variant. Pwede good na siya na in one class, 54 hours, 8 topics, pwede nga, ang usa ka topic ana, na choose. Okay, okay, face to face, you see, yeah. <laughs> no? But a portion of that, conventional ka, a portion of that, you need to perhaps, or even only the activity is rotational, or even the learning competency, no? a certain competency of a lesson, mag high flex ka. Okay? Para lang, uh, widen ang ato ang idea that. High flex na po, kay high flex na po mo. Uh, high flex na po mo at hybrid lang yung mga tensor, eh, di hindi mo mag-blended. Diba? Uh, di rin mo atin sa high flex, guys. Hybrid naman ni. I hope, my point is, I hope you will attend the third so that you can also see the different options because it might be applicable also in your class. And you might, you may want also to explore. Uh, again, student-centeredness, because high flex is really, really a uh, student center. Okay? So, Sir Fredley, thank you very much. So, good afternoon, everyone, to our in-person participants and our Zoom participants. So, first, I would like to share my presentation first. Uh, may I request Mom Alpi if my slides are visible? Okay. Um, it's not. Uh, it's not on slideshow mode, Sir Fred. Here. Ah. Okay. Thank you, Mom. Okay. Yeah. 
So again, so my uh, I am your resource speaker for the hybrid modality. So we were uh, we will be talking on resources, activities, and classroom management that will cater the student engagement in our MISO uh, platform. This is for hybrid modality. So before we will start, I would like to share to you the objectives of this uh, session. So first, we are going to describe hybrid learning in the context of SU's uh, limited face-to-face -face with 100% class capacity. Second, we will uh, unravel the different strategies or what we call that a uh, uh, flexible teaching modality in implementing the hybrid learning as a TL or teaching, uh, teaching and learning method. And lastly, we are going to apply hybrid learning in a lesson. So here, uh, in response to the memo in our, uh, in this, uh, in our memo in the Siliman uh, University's memo, so here, we are going to tackle the hybrid learning uh, in three, uh, three uh, statements. So first, it is a teaching method rather than a teaching environment. Second, it has an online uh, synchronous session. So which means you can do it in a synchronous mode or asynchronous, synchronous or asynchronous modality. And lastly, uh, it will utilize the technology or what, what we have, the platform, the MySoul, and an online component uh, which, could, uh, which could be uh, synchronous or asynchronous, and then the face-to-face -face components at the same time. So when we talk about the first uh, statement, the teaching method rather than a teaching modality environment uh, in a specific classroom. So this pertains to that, this particular uh, hybrid learning as a method of teaching, hybrid learning is not used as, as Dr. Uh, Dave said earlier, that it is not used all throughout the semester or school year. So it is used in a lesson, where, take note, so where hybrid learning as a teaching strategy suits well with that particular lesson. And then if uh, used successively, so our, our recommendation in the office, you should uh, use different hybrid learning modes uh, should be implemented not just one mode or one type. So that is a teaching method rather than a teaching modality or environment. Next statement is it has an online synchronous session. So particularly here, uh, in our online sessions, uh, this could be via different uh, tools like video conferencing. So it could be BBB, uh, Zoom, or Meet. Uh, make sure that all the links should be placed inside our MySoul platform. So in here, uh, it is an, uh, this is to encourage the teacher to use them for knowledge deepening, okay? Not more on a uh, lecture, again, because we are in the Philippines where our internet uh, connectivity is challenged when it comes to delivering the, uh, our lesson or in our edu educational uh, sector. So my suggestion is uh, when you do online or live via Zoom or any video conferencing, Use it for your knowledge depending of that particular lesson. And you can have it for your formative uh, activities like oral recitation, wherein you can include uh, some online platforms like Mentimeter, like uh, Slido, and so on. And later on, I will uh, illustrate to you what are some of those uh, technical uh, tools being used to engage a uh, student learning. So in here, so again, if you have your online, of course, there is a needed feedback coming from your teachers. So you can use your pre-recorded lecture videos for them to view before the knowledge deepening. 
And then the face-to-face -face session or synchronous session can be the time for discussion to answer those uh, uh, questions related to your lesson and then expound uh, the points. So that is the importance of having a, a synchronous, uh, synchronous session. If you are, uh, if you do it in asynchronous, so make it sure you have a specific forum activity, and then they will uh, perform that in the same time for your schedule online, uh, online schedule. So that's the second uh, statement of hybrid learning, and then the third one. It utilizes technology, online components, and then face-to-face -face components at the same time. So the technical requirements, so use of the MySoul LMS, projector, laptop, or PC to access virtual classroom. So course content, activities, and so on. So even a face-to-face -face, uh, session, uh, technology is still present for MySoul beyond, uh, beyond the showing of PPT, it should be used in teaching learning activities. Like example, if you would like to integrate forum activity for some discussion for a certain topics, then you can incorporate that one. So that's the uh, basic uh, statements regarding to hybrid learning in the SU memo. So now before uh, we will proceed to the next. So our perception is that uh, as a teacher, you should balance your uh, classroom management as well as your class, uh, your uh, student engagement. So sometimes we are good in classroom management, but uh, we cannot uh, more on cater our student engagement because they have different learning styles. So uh, much as uh, you will know some uh, technological tools and then how how you will apply it to your uh, to your online uh, online uh, activities and so on. In this one, I will show you the, the technological tools to facilitate teaching in a hybrid mode or hybrid flexing, uh, uh, high, hybrid flexible teaching modality. So that's the term. So first one, again, this is in student interaction. If you're having your, uh, Synchronous online, so which means asynchronous, uh, asynchronous or synchronous. So you could perform this one and use this particular uh, platforms. So for example, creating groups with online and offline. So offline means a face-to-face -face, uh, students uh, together. So, but in this part, this is good for your uh, synchronous online. So you can use this particular platform, but again, we have our own my our my soul LMS, so you, we can use our our forum activity and so on. And then you can use the breakout rooms with online and offline students together. So, example, uh, if you have a set of particular a uh, demonstration, if you have a demonstration activity, so the group will uh, come to the face to face uh, classroom. And then the rest will be online via Zoom. Then in that case, uh, they will perform uh, this particular platform being used. That is to cater the student uh, interaction. So I am showing you the uh, very basic uh, uh, content in one of our uh, open core, uh, open online course uh, from the United Board. So basically. This will student. Uh, this will cater student interaction. So by the use of our uh, learning activities in my soul, as well as our video conferencing tools. So this is good for online synchronous. Next, we have student participation. So example scenario is encourage participation by all students. Uh, invite responses to questions from. Uh, from our limited and face-to-face, -face, but the, the, the setup is, this one is, we are in a specific online back or face-to-face -face modality. But in this case, you can use this particular, particular uh, platforms like Wheel of Names, so for example, Ecotruleta, Ipang 
ipa-encode nimo ang mga names sa mga learners and then pag ma tungan na ilahang name so you can uh, you can call them and then participate so this is to ay kung na may uban nga <laughs> dili mo hatag sa ilang mga answers so may na lang siya like probably na for entertainment value gamay sa lesson uba ang mic <laughs> okay. So again, uh, <laughs> so kung may nana na case, so again, dapat tapod tamo, uh, at tapod ibagay sa uh, sitwasyon kung applicable ba siya online as well as uh, offline or face-to-face -face interaction. And then we have the third one. To activate student engagement is active learning. So example, common na ni kayo. So we implement polls, uh, quizzes, online quizzes sa MISO. We have fact checks and then polls sa Zoom. As well as sa atong MISO, na po tayong mga polls. Like choice. Like mag magkuan lang sila. Like ilan tong gamito tong choice na activity sa MISO. Then you can uh, generate responses coming from uh, from your learners in one particular question, gamit ang choice. And then you can also use the questionnaire activity in my soul to get the profile of the students and so on. And then you can also use the very common uh, platform, uh, Mentimeter, Slido, Kahoot, All Everywhere, and Islet. That is for active learning. So don't worry because uh, this uh, presentation is uh, uh, uploaded or i upload anisha sa atong my soul training course. Part one is, of course, collaborative learning. Collaborative learning, so we can work together on our platforms. Ang common na ang um, um, Google, so Google Suite, like mga Google Sheets, uh, Slides, Docs, Prezi, and so on. So collaboration is for your learners in a certain uh, output wherein you can uh, you can add comments or suggestions uh, regarding their uh, report. Next we have the assessment uh, uh, student assessment. We can use uh, different styles of assessment. In here you can have your online uh, since we are in hybrid uh, mode with the limited face-to-face uh, -face instruction. So you can have it a uh, proctored exam. For a specific uh, example, you have your face-to-face -face and then you use uh, sa computer laboratory sa CCS, then you can schedule a particular, uh, particular day para mag proctored exam. So in that case, ang proctor exam, hindi na siya ordinary yung uh, mag-open na ka-browser. Usa na siya kaakuan, uh, like in proctor exam siya, still be, use me of software na matrap lang ang sadyante sa pag-text sa quiz. And ang nagitawag na safe exam browser. So which means, example, my soul ka, open ka sa my soul, and then di ka mo, mo text sa exam. And then mag Kung open sila, di sila kabasagan o open, kaya matrap naman sila. So na may exit points or passwords para maka-exit. So muna siya ang uh, advantage sa online proctored exam. And napat ang itawag nga, uh, since limited naman siya, pwede mo siya may uh, paper-based. Okay? So pwede siya sa dito magsulat lang and then automatic ang button lang sa teacher is here a record ang mga scores sa atong my soul platform later on i will show you how to do that okay so again sa student assessment it could be uh katong gigong ganina demo or skills validation so sa face to face paniyon niyo sila while the rest is nasa online so muna sa student uh, assessment and lastly ang pinaka common nato sa tanan ang sharing resources Sharing resources, pwede ni siya i-upload sa my soul, but namatay mga third-party apps like Google Drive, wherein links lang nato i uh, ibutan sa atong my soul, but be careful sa kanang mga uh, sa kanang privacy. 
privacy issue kay na may uban nga you private siya for SU or uh, some is viewer lang siya or some uh, edit so kung inyo siyang i-show sa inyong learners make sure a viewer lang sila uh -oh. and then na po tay uban na po yung option ana nga pwede sila viewer sila this na ka download sa resources but again, the um, kaning mga mga learners is naman da po yung mga ninja moves, so pwede nila screenshot. <laughs> um, so again, nana siya nga part. Uh, make sure lang sa mga resources. If example dili niyo tinuod na ginama, so example sa YouTube na may uban nga ang content creator iyan ang itang tangon, so wala na inyong din. So might as well nga magimo mo sa inyong <laughs> Content, original content, and then you upload niyo sa YouTube and then you paste lang din niyo. But I guess some picture na po sa itong Marisol yun is ang link pero sir, di ba, buwan siya, link na lang, is madilig na siya mo redirect ng uh, grab thumbnail. Okay, ano siya ang case, para po sa space. Okay, that, oo. Uh, 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 video thumbnail man itong sa una, magawa. Karoon kay URL naman dun siya. Oo, uh, uh, picture and then you can insert hyperlink. So, Monisha, so that is pertaining to the, the hybrid learning when it comes to uh, technological tools to engage in student, uh, more on student engagement. So now, the question is how to transition an existing course to a hybrid? So, na naman tayo mga contents katong sa atong ODL. So, I know that uh, pag-convert, ane, <laughs> so medyo uh, lisod-lisod siya, pag, uh, lisod-lisod sa bilip pa kayo at uh, uh, kung hindi pa kayo siya medyo skilled sa uh, sa atong uh, platform. But again, hinayon lang na to. So, first na atong unang atong ibutang sa atong unang huna, is start by examining all the current course activities na inyong ginama. Like quizzes, uh, like discussion, written assignments, or online tests. And then from the perspective, so does this activity work best in an online environment or face-to-face? -face? So, muna siya una na nga atong uh, iset sa atong mind. And then, ang ikaduha, next, is look at the amount of time would spend on a face-to-face -face or online activities. Kinakita naman ta atong, atong example, gahimota, um, uh, gahimota assignment, na good di ito siya for three weeks or two weeks. So, make sure you look at the time the student will perform that particular activity kay dili man ikaw ra ang um, mag uh, mag mag use sa time na may other subjects so in that case the ratio of time for a typical hybrid is 50-50 so kung matapos uh, na pag imong initial assessment is mo yield na into a uh, more than 50 so dili na siya mayo into hybrid so in this case Moni sa ang inyo hong uh, Sylvie diagram. So you have your uh, you have your hybrid mode, uh, which is inyo siyang ito nga into face-to-face, into face-to-face -face component na 1.5. So example, if example I'm handling empowerment technology, so mag meet me uh, twice a week. So example, Monday, then Thursday. So Monday na ako, ako hindi siyang i-assign sa online online so which means magamit tag my soul and then the other 1.5 sa ako nga uh, sa ako nga face to face so mao na siya ang crown niya og uh, silbi a uh, division sa to address this particular uh, question so in that case so ang sa hybrid lang ato on is sa blended is Kung twice ka, kailangan na ka sa school. Kung sa hybrid ka, mag-decide si teacher kung online ba siya gamit ang MySoul. 
and then it could be uh, asynchronous or synchronous. And then, ang other day, Anna, is for the face-to-face. -face. So, deepening session or mga uh, demonstration skills or skills validation uh, or assessment. Muna siya ang iyahang, uh, iyahang scheduling. Um, just to add that, Sir Fredri actually uh, just showed to you a very typical hybrid distribution, um, pre-pandemic distribution of the PTPT. Uh, sometimes it's institutional. There are many universities that uh, declare of institutional distribution. Say for example, PTPT face-to-face, if we have a three-unit uh, class in, let's say, in college or in the uh, higher ed, uh, the three units is 54. So we are saying that uh, 20, uh, 27 is uh, online and 27 is face to face. But again, these are just the typical suggestions. Uh, it's not really a black and white PPTP always or all the time because, as I mentioned, as we always mention here, we are giving you different options and not necessarily a hybrid, hybrid ng nakia. Uh, ang importante actually is you know that a certain learning outcome is hybrid or a certain learning session is hybrid or a certain a certain activity or performance task is hybrid. So let, let's just go be, uh, be very specific inside the classroom and preparation but it's going to be easy for us to, you know, to incorporate because if we will look at as, as an entire degree, Lisod na siya actually kay magtabot na punta o oh, ang aman inuhang online ang uh, hiling sa taan na we will start from the bottom, start from the class, use all of this as part of your teaching strategy. That is why we are recommending later on, we will be showing to you a learning plan that you really have to put two additional two columns for your face-to-face -face and the online modality. Para lang hindi ka ma-confuse ang 50-50 kasi mag-code is certainly Okay. Thank you, Sir Dave, for that information. So, next, we will proceed to the hybrid learning models. So, here are the suggested hybrid learning models. So first one is what we call the flipped learning. Second is with synchronous online. Third is rotational. So basically here, in flipped learning, in this case, in this given scenario, uh, in your MySoul or online virtual classroom, you have some uh, synchronous activities like reading of uh, particular uh, resources coming from the teachers, like your videos and so on. And then by the time they will go to the face-to-face -face, uh, face -face, uh, meeting, you will conduct your deepening session for the demonstration or skills validation. And then for with synchronous online, again, in here you can have it in online component, asynchronous. So which means you have your a real-time forum or what we call uh, you have another another uh, real-time uh, graded uh, activities for your on uh, for your synchronous you will perform that one by a video conferencing tool like zoom bbb and so on and then in the third one we have rotational so, so rotational is a combination from flip and then with synchronous online. But in this case, when it comes to rotational, you limit the number of students from the face-to-face. -face. So which means if you are in flip learning, some uh, in that case, example, if you have a demonstration or performance task that that particular group should perform, so that particular group should come to the face-to-face -face classroom. Uh, while the rest, uh, nag-activity pa sila sa asynchronous, like sila pang di-construct ang ilahang presentation. So which means sila ra ang schedule lang mo-perform mo, mo ni sa school. 
kung sa with synchronous online, so move money ang Okay. So, uh, can you please let's go the... Ah, so, okay. So, para makuan, para dun siya makita ang atong kanyang models with examples. So, I will show you the, what we call the bar hands of this particular hybrid learning. So, first, so we have the flip learning. So, we have here the online and then the face-to-face. So online, by the use of our MySchool virtual classroom, you can have a lecture, it's pre-recorded, your repository of teaching sources. Then you have your activity submissions, my terminal reports, and then your assignment. And then you can use the PLD or personalized learning designer. So example, if they will submit a particular assignment, then it will pop a certain a window will pop up that they already submitted that particular assignment or notification. And then, of course, ko na, na maayon na tao with all the trainings. <laughs> if na apa, if you're tuning pang atong class, uh, class record so my soul, then ato na siyang buhaton. Okay, so I'm talking about the grade books atong my soul para ma real time usage na ang, uh, ang grade book. So don't worry because I will also post this uh, particular links related to this particular uh, statements as well as the YouTube links na amo nagi conduct sa office. Okay, kanita na 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 anajudisha. So all we need to do is just simply give you the links for it. Okay, and then here sa please uh, learn names sa face to face uh, value. So. It's more on knowledge deepening. Uh, activities, performance tasks, skills demonstration, and validation. And then you have your assessment paper uh, based. Na siya. So when it comes to a record, si teacher ng bahala, iya bang i record siya sa online. Okay? And then the technology requirement inside the classroom is none. Um, Historically, uh, this flipped learning is actually part of the umbrella of blended learning. But uh, we just wanted to put it under hybrid because hybrid naman is not always having synchronous. So this is a variant in a hybrid learning in such a way that there is really no lecture inside the, place, inside the classroom because all the lectures are actually asynchronous. That is why there is the lecture is pre-recorded. So if you have pre-recording already in your in, during the ODL, you can actually include that, put that in your my phone. And then say for example, you will just say uh, for Monday, we'll not meet in class. I want you to read or watch the pre-recorded video. On Wednesday, we will have an oral recitation. So you will not anymore discuss that. Uh, on side difference of blended learning, blended learning is either the lecture, okay, dito takamupon and then lecture, so lecture, either mo discuss ta or mag play ta, while here is there is no more lecture because discussion, knowledge deepening, skills, skills validation, demo. In other words, the lecture is to be done actually uh, online, but not synchrony. Okay? And then, uh, the 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 face to face really is for the hot for higher uh, thinking order skills. So your performance task, we have did not see ah, kasi para masolve na kung problem, sige na lang record din ako estudyante when it comes to performance task. The one mentioned by your friendly the assessment skill, you will go on the assessment, the paper base, and then the student need not to actually uh, picture, picture and then uh, put it there because. Our intention here is we have to accept the fact that not all our classrooms will have all the technology. So, pwede ni siya. No? Pwede ni siya. Dili dito ta, kinahang lang, dapat na ay wifi ang classroom. Dapat na ay kuan. Anak, kay wifi mo ni Dr. Marshall. Not ay option. That's still, that is technologically oriented. Na pedagogy. No? So, walay internet meaning, walay real-time hita mo in the classroom. 
with a face-to-face -face in this kind of variant. Because paper-based, the face-to-face na feels validation in your lecture is asynchronous, meaning delete live, delete real time via so. So, katunggiin mo, Mr. Friendly, on the use of class record, para magamit, no, ang atuang class record in such a way that uh, if nag-score nga diha, instead nga ipa, ipa, di ba, the usual is with the class, na, pass the one for sheet with the score of the student. So, either, pwede na ni mong buhaton or some perhaps recite class record. Oh, pila, I mean, nakuha. Recite sa score. May katawaan, say the zero. <laughs> so, instead of doing that, you can save time by just simply passing the paper per half and then later on just input it just like your class record. So, that's it, uh, what is meant. We wanted to highlight that no classroom because all, yes, sir. So, what is your suggestion about uh, your formative assessment in the context of deep learning? Will it be better if uh, in the evenings also in terms of online? Yes. In the lecture, yeah, in the definition, there is there is suggested by Sir. The one suggested by uh, Sir Josh is like this. While doing definition, instead na uh, oral recitation, Sir Josh wanted perhaps a forum where students will log in real time in the face to face. That will not qualify here because that will need a Wi-Fi inside the classroom. Next, na siya mabaya. Kani sir ato ni siyang dictator sa you know this these are facts magod nga uh, we cannot afford that all of our classrooms will have all those technologies no so pwede ni siya nga if assuming lang loaded no, kayo ato ang classroom wala internet wala wifi dito we can still use this kind of area okay thank you Dr. Dave and in addition to that, we will we will also tackle the uh, sample learning plan for the flip uh, learning later. So that's the variant one, the flip learning. So now let's proceed to the variant two of hybrid uh, modality. So this is called with synchronous online. With synchronous online, that means asynchronous or synchronous. So here in our online component or my soul, so we have our lecture live via uh, Google Meet or any other video conferencing app. Or you can also have the pre-recorded video na inyong ginama and then you can show sa live. Or pwede po ibutang ninyo itong inyong pre-recorded sa my soul. So then, so in that case, the knowledge determining is live via video conferencing tools like Google Meet or Zoom. And then here, your repository of teaching resources like your PowerPoint, videos, readings, mga activity submissions, you will use also the class record. And then you can do here a formative assessment like a real-time uh, assignment the due date and the time, the forum, you have here the activity submissions, like your terminal report, assignments, and you can also use the PLD, the personalized learning designer. And then here, you can use also the class record. So this is the value of the online component. So if you're talking about an uh, example of a formative assessment, you can uh, use that one in this particular suggested activities. It could be quiz, assignment, forum, or etc. And then here for our face-to-face -face component, so we will do the uh, knowledge deepening, the activities or performance, a task, the skills, a demonstration, a validation, uh, the assessment. It could be a paper-based. And then here, take note that in your assessment, uh, it could be a paper-based or proctor, proctored online exams using MySol like a safe exam browser, wherein you can also schedule a CCS about your online exam or other a particular computer laboratory in your department. And then here, 
technology requirement in the classroom. We should have computer with projector and then speakers, a computer lab and internet connectivity. So that is the with synchronous online. You can perform it as synchronous or or synchronous. So in addition, Sir Dave. Yeah. Uh, this is the one by uh, uh asked by Sir George. Uh, Paper example because uh, here there is still no lecture inside the because the what is it the value really is of a hybrid learning is the face to face is designed for um what is this uh, skills validation and knowledge deepening that is why it it all start with flipped learning because that's really the face value of hybrid the hybrid is face to face synchronous and asynchronous during the face-to-face -face, it's really for knowledge deepening discussion oral recitation performance task skills validation so still if you see by row we divide actually it by the first one is the lecture meaning the delivery part then followed anna is more on the face-to-face -face component which is the deepening your skills validation so, katong i question ni Sir Josh ganina, pwede bang i-combine paper example formative? Well, nag-discuss si Sir Josh, nag-depend si Sir Josh of a certain topic. Instead of asking the students, perhaps we ingo si Sir Josh, okay, uh, what did you feel, uh, what, what did you feel today? To answer that, open soul, respond, the first one who can hold, I give additional five points. That one. That is what we call assessment na akadelay, no? and skill performance ka, but activity condition is online, real time. That is why there is synchronous. Example to siya. Pwede man po nga the asynchronous submission. Pwede Sir Josh na discuss the paper example in this one. Okay, any more questions? If there are no more questions, uh, Post your reflection. I already posted it in our virtual class. And at last. No, so it needs really synchronous, asynchronous, and asynchronous, uh, synchronous, async, and the face-to-face -face value. Dili lang magdungan si face-to-face and si asynchronous or si sync. Or face-to-face -face and sync. But pwede magdungan si face-to-face -face and Asynchronous, which is actually the third. Okay, thank you, Sir Dave, for uh, explaining more on the variant two. So now let's proceed to the last uh, variant for our hybrid learning. So the third one is what we call the rotational. So in rotational, <laughs> so much out COVID. <laughs> So, variant one or two with a portion of the class attends face to face. At ako gingon ganina sa uh, ganina, uh, earlier nga scenario. And then, you uh, in this particular uh, technology requirement inside the classroom, of course, you have your computer, ang um, common na, so speakers, computer lab, and internet connectivity. So, example lang, atong ako ang repeat. Kung sa flip, ganita flip, uh, flip uh, learning, variant 1. So, for example, if you have skills validation na sila yung perform ang specific group, so sila dapat mani sa school or naba sila mga submission, other projects sila lang. And then while the rest, uh, nag-formulate nag, nag na po sila, nag-construct na sa ilaha. Like they can perform that asynchronous online. And then sa so variant 2, so we have katong ganina, uh, we have with synchronous online. So this I'm talking about the synchronous session via video conferencing tool like Zoom. So they will perform this uh, skill validation and then feedback coming from their uh, students also or in a classmate, they can interact by the use of, of that particular uh, video conferencing app. For example, uh, like Zoom. So in that case, uh, Nag, nag perform sila and then nakita ang mga learners online via uh, video call. So, ato asyang dilimit, uh, Jude, uh, 
makaana sa school kan itakulong rotational or pwede niyo siya i-group ang estudyante like for example sa flip learning kaniyang uh, specific group like example from A to B ang um, last name so din hilang sa kamo ang magkuanta mag knowledge deepening ta as well as uh, skills validation if for example na abay uh, problems encountered sa group then sunod na pod nga uh, sunod na pod nga schedule ang lain na pod nga ang uh, estudyante so you can do it by batch ang sa sa variant 1 sa flipped learning pag nata sa kuan uh, kan sa variant 2 so again ang online man siya so pwede adjust siya mo ani ang performer and then adto siya i broadcast online via video conferencing app so muna siya ang rotational and the, the also the the meat of the rotational is really not for lecture because that's the problem with <laughs> alive all ko mo mga na receive so meaning di ay mo balik balik sa mga istorya ana because the rotational is not really intended for for lecture uh that is really intended for demo that's really intended for skills validation performance so for example uh group work and then 40 students and then you know na lima ro man joy mo kuan niya mo perform uh, I don't know kung paano yun yung dagway ng mukha. Although, na yung mga interaction, depende man ako, peer evaluation and everything. But, you can just uh, innovate it. Like, uh, pwede ni Muslim ng Inon, you write one of your member, you record it, and then the rest of the member will just watch asynchronously. Di ba? After the performance, like, and then upload. That rotational. The intention here in this variant is really to lessen the number. Okay? To lessen to lessen the number, whether uh, a rotational during flip or rotational during the uh, synchronous online the variant. Again, that is only an option. Because to me, na ako na huna na ang na pwede din siyang pa rotational, especially kung ka ng mga uh, group presentation, na na no, na dili pa ta allowed, mo ato ulus auditorium, but pwede allowed, no, dili lang kay gamay. Things like those. At least you can also imagine uh, those kind of barriers. Okay, so now I will uh, tour you to my uh, sample virtual classroom applying those variants. So, there's a question. Ah, question? Sige. So, there, there is a operational question here, uh, administrative type of question. How about the tuition fees? And there, <laughs> <laughs> there are two modalities here, face-to-face, -face, you call it limited, and the combined ODL. Teacher must avoid using soul when they are in school, otherwise it is still ODL. No, sir. Um, it's not ODL. We're not anymore... <laughs> We're not anymore doing full online distance learning. That is why it, it is limited because we are incorporating the use of a virtual learning management system in our face-to-face uh, -face instruction. No, so it's we're not we're not anymore entertaining full OBS. I think that is very clear. Meaning, uh, based on that uh, memo all students must at least come on campus, but not necessarily day one to day X. So giving additional points is not uh, uh, authentic assessment. Yes, sir, there are many ways. Naman. There are many ways. Naman. So those are just examples. Those are just examples to gamify. sir, gamification. And in the gamification, reward is one of the components. That's my example. Uh, sir Conception, kato akong giingon nga additional point that part of gamification technique. In gamification technique, we have the so-called rewards and benefits. So, style lang ko siya and does not necessarily be translated as equal to 
scores and points. Yes. Yes. With regards to assessment, I think we should put extra prudence in it, particularly the way how we design our formative to the summative assessment. Because, for instance, we were actually going to the field. Like, for example, I was asking Dale about his, um, his uh, class, which is oral communication. So, for example, Dale, how will you divide it? So, um, yeah, for that, it will be virtual and then the the summative will be live, so which of course are two different things because there are factors. So when in fact your formative assessment should prepare uh, your students for the lead them to for the summative. So that's just one point of uh, I think uh, prudence when it comes to the design of assessment, especially that we'll be chunking our contacts with our students uh, virtually and in face to face. So that's just one thing that uh, I know parang <laughs> So uh, the, parang, it, it, it was so clear on me. Yeah, yeah. Careful talaga tayo sa uh, I, must, uh, uh, I, I agree with that, sir. I agree with that. That is why we don't want to tell you that all formative should be online and all summative. That is why we made it to the point that uh, assessment in any form, formative or summative, can be done face to face, can be done online. Let's, we, let, let's do away. The tendency not to good is we will always separate uh, we will always look at technology or the ODL component, I mean the, the virtual component and the face-to-face -face component as two different things. So dapat really siya, dapat complement siya each other. That, I think that's the one that mentioned by Sir Joss nga. Dili siya dapat inunana ng treatment. Uh, we will make all formative online and we will make all summative face-to-face. Uh, because uh, formative really one, but uh, you can do that still, but in different delivery in modality. Or say for example, pwede man ako ang summative bihapo na as a micro, pero proper siya, face to face siya na ako. Okay? Or if dili yung kaganahan nga mag-click-click sila because you wanted the students to really practice the shading, and then let them check. Okay, let them check and then maybe you can just uh, input the score in the class record. And uh, we will not treat lang na, ah, oh, kani dapat face-to-face -face ni, kani siya dapat for, for online. Again, that is why I highlighted that, we highlighted here that uh, we should look at our learning plan by learning outcomes, by topic, by activities, and by uh, expected deliverable. After all, OBE man ta. So, atong lang taong dito sa OBE kung asa ang component. Not the conventional idea na kani online. Kani, ana. So, pwede man siya nga in one learning outcome combined katanan. I mean, with all those types of modalities. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just about to share, I have not prepared. 1.5 asynchronous. Uh, one, one point five asynchronous. Uh, one, online to shop. Uh, okay. Online to shop. Uh, component search. So basically, suggested to shop. But again, depending on like example, mo yield. Uh, katuko ba nato ng course? Ako basically sa research is 50-50 to shop ko naman mas typical sa hybrid. But na may uban na Nice. Depende sa imong percentage na ay 60, na ay, 7, na ay 40, or uh, vice versa. So in ato siya nga case, at least uh, duha lang online component, and then you have your face-to-face -face component. Kaysa blended, ang himanjud mo, ang himanjud ang tanang mga, uh, mga learners, and then inyo na siyang mix na with the online na technology, which is my soul. Now, which is a perform po ninyo sa classroom, sa blended. But sa ako on, sa hybrid learning, it's up to you on how you percentage, uh, distribute the percentage from your face-to-face -face and then your uh, online. Uh, the, the, the emphasis na actually is right that when we do hybrid, uh, we should look at a certain outcome and content of the hybrid component. Dili siya two separate things. Ngunit ako ang highlight ganina na when we say hybrid, 
a certain activity is really hybrid. Dilip siya kay uh, topic one, topic one, at face-to-face ka, and then detached siya to your technology part. That's the point actually of Sir Bradley. Na. And any content, and in any lesson, in any activity, it will be called hybrid if there is a combination along the process of the face-to-face and technology. Because pedagogically, you will focus on the intersection of the two. Mona ang gingon dihang prudence nga part. Because kung ato ang treatment, separate si technology and separate si face-to-face, dili na to mamit si hybrid with the, the, the intersection of the face-to-face and, and the technology. Otherwise, mabalik ka sa blended. Ato lang ka sa blended. So, I think we have a question from online. So we have Ma'am Sandra Tabon. You can unmute yourself, Ma'am. Sir, so, uh, I would like to confirm whether the hybrid is uh, having proctored uh, assessment, uh, say summative, uh, Using my soul. So in that case, ma'am, mag-depend na siya on what type of hybrid modality variant sa imong gamiton. Like if you have in variant one, which is uh, flip learning, so which means uh, no no devices or no gadgets, so which means uh, paper-based lang siya. But so variant two ka, ma'am, so this is more on uh for this paper base so face to face na or you can have it proctored online exam sa assessment ma'am Ma na answer ay mong question ma'am Yes sir Thank you. Yes sir Thank you sir okay. Thank you Thank you ma'am Sandra so I think I will proceed in showing the virtual class sensor. Okay. Do you want break? Uh, do you want? Okay. So we will have a break, uh, five minutes. Snap break. Uh, snap break, sa. <laughs> okay, snap break, sa. <laughs> okay, snap break, sa. So five. <laughs> Silliman University, as a leading Christian institution, 
committed to total human development for the well-being of society and the environment, adopts my soul, the gateway to Siliman online distance learning and flexible learning. As the official learning management system of the university, MySoul is an all-in-one, web-based teaching and learning platform where teachers can organize offline activities like assignments. MySoul is capable for flipped learning, micro-learning, classroom gamification, and personalized learning, which ensures all forms of engagement, such as chat, assignment, activity tracker, forum, feedbacking, ebook, and many more. MySoul runs 24-7 in any web browsers. Students can also download MySoul mobile app for easy access of the course content, progress tracking, notifications, and other activities anywhere, anytime. MySoul hosted several support services, such as the Guidance and Counseling Office, Student Government, and other student services. Chat with our librarians through the virtual library in MySoul. MySoul is administered with your friendly and responsive technical support who are always there for you in times of your technical challenges. In chat, email, and calls. Hi, I'm Ellen Nizaria Paalan Vasquez, an incoming grade 10 student. So, the first question is, as a student, what do you like most about my soul? Adjusting to a new mode of learning is difficult. However, the my soul platform structure and content has made it easier for me to adapt to the new normal. I really think that it's impressive and that students will be able to maximize all its services. Moving on, how does My Soul help you in your learning experience? The different tabs and sections on the My Soul platform has helped me become more organized. I can keep track of all my lessons, assignments, and deadlines because it's easy to navigate. It truly caters to the students' needs when it comes to online learning. Hello, I am Jose Paolo Chavez, an incoming third-year student from the College of Agriculture. I am taking up Bachelor of Science in Agriculture major in Agronomy, and I have been enrolled in the mid-year classes of 2020 and also the summer term classes of 2019-2020, both of which were online. And uh, we have been using the MySoul platform as a medium of instruction. And what do I like best about MySoul? Um, in terms of online classes, I could say that my soul is really complete. It has uh, the evaluation features, um, methods of lecture and medium modes of delivery. All those things are provided very well in my soul. The delivery of education maintains its quality over my soul. So I've been grateful enough to be to experience or to have experienced a number of subjects which have been taught very well. Um, the video, I have to mention the video and audio conferencing platform, Big Blue Button. Uh, it really has a lot of features which are unavailable in uh, many familiar video conferencing platforms. Um, Big Blue Button allows the student to do all sorts of things. I'm thankful and my soul is by far a really good experience in terms of online education. So how does my soul help me? And my learning experience well apart from my soul being a platform for of course the delivery of the teachers um, it also incorporates the different accounts of Suleiman University which can offer their own resources and help as well uh, shout out to the library of course the SU virtual library has been incorporated within the my soul platform and there's a lot of uh, versatility in terms of approaching the information 
there's a lot of versatility in receiving the information as a student as well. Um, overall, it is a different learning experience compared to the physical learning experience, but it helps and it maximizes the use of online learning. So it really helped a lot in my learning experience. Overall, it's a very commendable platform for online education. I hope uh, the incoming school year will be a fruitful one for both, of course, the teachers and the students themselves. Thank you. Hi, I am Raya Regina Aguilar, an incoming second year medical technology student, and I have been taking up my summer classes with myself. And one of my favorite parts about it is that I can post up anything that I want from any format such as Word documents or PDF documents in a non-complicated way. My soul has helped me so much in my learning experience. As an introvert, I do not usually join in discussions. However, my soul has given me the opportunity to do so because I can post up in any open forums that I want with no complications at all. Now that has been my experience with my soul. My soul upholds its core values in online distance learning experience, making students as critical thinkers, transformative Christian witnesses, effective communicators, and independent, reflective, lifelong learners. Our core values remain unchanged in online distance learning, that an integrated, inquiry-driven approach prepares students to succeed, that students learn in different ways and my soul carries the responsibility to support these differences. That developing a passion for learning requires a pool of faculty members passionate about teaching. And that collaboration, creativity, flexibility, and willingness among all constituents are key. As the transition gives apprehension and anxiety to some, Silliman University, through my soul,
So now let's proceed. I will walk you through the sample hybrid learning course or virtual classroom. So here, this is following that the three. Sir Fredly, excuse me. Yes. Um, it's not projected in Zoom. Yes, ma'am. Your screen is not the virtual classroom is not projected here in Zoom. Thank you, ma'am. Is the screen uh, visible, ma'am? Yes, okay, no, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. So here again, uh, I will show you the sample virtual classroom implementing uh, some of those uh, variants I mentioned earlier about hybrid learning. So here you have a specific lesson and then what type of a specific variant you will apply or what uh, flexible uh, teaching uh, modality. So for example here, uh, let's start with the lesson one. So I, I integrate the flipped learning. So if I click this particular virtual uh, section and then I have my objectives and then you have your uh, specific instruction. So again, you can add your uh, section name in a form of image or plain text and just see to it that uh, it should be indicated clearly your instruction. For example, Monday, no face-to-face uh, -face class. So you have your instruction like read uh, these following resources or teaching resources and then answer the following activities asynchronously. So in this part, uh, they will read this particular uh, lesson in a book format or you can, in, you can also add your uh, any kind of sharing resources, you could have your uh, like your uh, teaching resources could be in a form of or link to a Google Drive file link or a file, mismo like PDF or PowerPoint, or you can actually uh, form that one into book format for. And then after that, after reading, so you have a sort of formative assessment done uh, online. So here, or online or MISO, so they will answer this particular uh, quizzes. And of course, much na po ni specific pag mo sa inyong quiz, of course, na po mo is still be formative assessment when it comes to feedbacking ba. Like you can have feedbacking by general feedbacking or specific feedbacking po. Like progressionale sa particular answers ang nanggawas. And then later on, you can also apply code sa PLD or personalized learning design mode. Like example, if personalized mo ang, ang question, like example, like answer siya in quiz one, can part uh, true or false. Pag apply niya na, nakatake na, na siya sa exam and then yung pop up na window nga. Hi Fred, this is your score. And then, and then proceed to lesson two. So moto siya gamit ang PLD. Of course, uh, ako po na siya ihatag niya ang mga links ko kung saan na siya pag And then, sunod na po, uh, answer na po siya ani. And then, you can also integrate PLD. As you notice, nata gitawag ng mga prag-lock. So, mo ni siya ang gitawag ng restriction. Uh -huh. So, mo ni siya, ang purpose ani is para makabalo siya kung sa ang learning journey sa usak sudyante. Kaya kung makabantay mo sa every section na ay pila ka walks of, sa learning journey sa mga studyante. So example, if 1 over 6, so which means na accomplish siya kusa ka learning journey or walks niya. So example, nag, 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 uh, uh, nagbasa ko ani, so mo check na na siyang mark. So kanipong hanong siyang na exclamation, again, kung ano na siya, 
uh, kung namit niya ang condition, like imo bang gibasa in tero mismo. But don't worry kay mo hatag aja pong links ano kabahin sa kabahin sa flip learning as well as ito kung integrate kanina ng variants naman to siya mga statements ako po siya insert ang mga links ato sa akong pagdimuan para na ang reference and then nakaproceed na siya dia and then you have your instruction again for the image o for the plain text but be careful sa images kay example po naka image mubog at po datong virtual classroom ana muna maglag ang inyong bc so ah uh, iko ana sa i uh, inyo i balance and then here you have to, you will answer this particular formative assessment assess uh, online by my soul and then human pod na pa japon ko yung forum like asynchronous japon siya like nag answer sa ato so asynchronous yung sa yung thoughts on lesson one the national forum so where in it will integrate responses from the learners and then ako silang gi instruct na third uh, by Thursday mag face to face ta in person activity so it could be in knowledge deepening so first is knowledge deepening na about sa lesson and then ang kana po siya in line po na sa knowledge deepening is in line with kung sa ilang thoughts sa lesson one and then kung sa mga a sort of clarification something sa quizzes and then here uh, a sort of knowledge deepening na siya wala nang siya lecture no part so more on activities and then here pagumana na uh, pagumana na sa topic na na deliver na ang topic kumana na nag so ga, ang atong giuna is ga online sila sa my soul read answer sa mga activities imo silang gipaani sa Thursday so face to face na na siya so sa face to face na to ato siyang didepen ang ilahang thoughts sa lesson 1 and then a sort of additional information pod like na bay idungang ba ninyo ang additional information sa lesson and then pagumana na ana siya to close the lesson pag as, sa ilan na na mo prog silbi assignment pero wala na term ng assignment ron so ato mo sa my soul and then inyong i-perform ang like a group banin mo sila and then they will perform the lesson run up reflection sa lesson 1 so sa ilan na asynchronous time again but again inyo siyang ipuan jud uh, like nang limit sa mga activities inyo siyang i ikuan sa inyong time ah uh, silbi iplat siya kung medyo dili pa siya more on a screen uh, applicable ba ba sir ang screen time sir when it comes to limited yeah um uh, so today the day reduction in terms of physical contact we just have to make sure that what in the reduction is 1.5 hours but all the activities to cover 24 hours <laughs> <laughs> so okay, let's be conscious about this day time. It's always, it's always like that. Uh, include, include screen time computation and be, you know, be considerate and be compassionate. Okay? The tendency really just like what we did in our OBS. We put a lot of activity and we forgot that uh, the students have 24 hours. Okay. <laughs> so, so, dapat, uh, if that is really intended for like a three hour activity, that will compensate to the learning outcome. Okay, thank you, sir. So, in this part, if you would like to have the assessment, you can do it in paper based. Like, now, ba mo yung answer sheet or uh, example na ilang you perform. But, in here, so as in, in teacher mode, so ikaw na mismo ang mo record sa score. It could be, atong gingon ganyan ni sir, no, pwede ka mag roll call, like mo ni siya ang score sa si Jante, or pwede mo siya uh, dito sa my soul. Kung dito siya sa my soul, ako na ipakita ka my sir, okay. Kung dito siya sa my soul, so inani na siya ang pag-record. Dili na ka maghimo o learning activities like assignment ba or quiz 
pa dito na ka sa grade book. Okay, so here, uh, all you need to do is just scroll. Uh, okay, ato ka sa pinakataas. So, sa gear icon. So, my memorize the na natong name. Gear icon. And then, you click the grade book setup. So, kay ni Agi na tag mga training. So, set up na kung why ang grade book. Okay? So, if example, uh, medyo na, na magpa-recall pa mo sa mga tutorials how to make a class record in my soul, again, I will also include the recordings. So, don't worry. Kaya ako siyang i-include sa notes. So, here, ang term na natong gamitin na is grade item. Okay? So, pasabot, offline siya nga activity. So, example, paper-based yung nga test. So, i-click na itong name, add grade item sa grade book. And then, imong ibutan kung unsa siya nga, nga, nga type of activity. Like, this is for a skills demonstration. So, skills demonstration, and then pila ka highest possible score ang makuha dapat sa uh, learners. So, example, like 50. And then, you scroll down, unsa siya nga components sa imong grading system. So, example, ato siya sa performance task. Uh, so, first quarter performance task, and then is save changes siya. So, pag save changes, mapunta na siya dito sa performance task. So, as you notice, in any ang yung icon, kaya pasabutan na is offline activity siya than uh, like face-to-face -face yung interaction. So, na naman na siya. Na na siya sa gradebook. So, sa na siya pag-record na sa teacher. Again, kani siya nga akong giling mo sa teacher side, dili ni siya sa estudyante na side. Okay, sa teacher side, Angin na siya sa view pag record. Kaya na naman, the check-check na si ma'am sa iyang assessment. So, view. And then, all you need to do is go to the uh, single view. Single view. Click lang na to. And then, kung sa ang grade item. So, kung sa ang activity. So example here, we have skills demonstration. And then, tanan na na siya. So, ang buhaton na, mo yung mga sudyante, yung mga info lang ka, like 30, like uh, 35. So, pag mana na, so save, you click ang save button, and then continue. And automatically, they can view their scores sa my soul uh, grade book. But din sa ato on, sa learning, uh, sa, sa inter, uh, sa, sa sudod sa course, wala tayo gihing mga activity. But directly, uh, dahil sa ilang grade book, mamakitan. So, mauto siya ang um, pag-conduct sa, as, uh, sa flip learning assessment. But it's your choice kung pwede man sila, sir, nga ilayang isang tira, sir, sa, uh, so, mm -hmm. and the other way around, kanin nga kong ipakita para ma-visible na siya. And then, magamit na po na ito atong My Soul Gradebook. So, mo na siya ang scenario sa flip learning. So, in here, pag face-to-face, -face, no device needed. And then here, uh, lesson two. So, this is in with synchronous online. Since sa atong uh, portion is Usara man jud ang video ko na medyo na ay image image ang Zoom, di ba? Zoom meeting but 40 minutes man siya. So you can also include a uh, a uh, katuwang Zoom meeting with 40 minutes or you can use the URL resource na which ni mong embed ni mo ang link sa imo home uh, Zoom or Google Meet link. And then Ang portion na ani, like example here, usually, kung saman ang gamit ni yung mga man, sir. Uh, like, 
i-play sa Jude ang link or kuan na siya. Like, click here, katong nga link. Like, baling taas ang nga link. So, pwede ako siya ninyo siya in image format. Like, pwede ninyo image format. Like, katong game na. No? Pwede mo click here. So, kana siya nga image, hyperlink na siya sa inyong Zoom or Google. Google Meet. <laughs> or Essenza. <laughs> sa GC, ha? <laughs> okay. So, here, uh, you can have it in URL form. So, uh, makita ko dyan po ang uh, iyahang walks sa particular particular section. Okay, URL ng siya. So, pag-click nila ane, eh, mo-redirect siya dito sa uh, Zoom or any other video conferencing tool. So, kana siya, for instance, ano man na makag-assessment, hindi si mong lesson, lesson 1. Nag-synchronous na ka sa imong lesson 2, synchronous online. So, imo siya, imit sila. Okay, kumusta ang assessment sa lesson 1? So, probaguan ba knowledge, uh, pra siya o silbi uh, confirmation na okay ba ang lesson 1, sa inyong mga problems encountered, and so on. And then, proper Mura po niya introductory to the next lesson. And then, in here, you can also have the knowledge depending kung napa din nalibugan dyan sila sa lesson 1. And then, sunod ane, is you can have it, okay, sa, while na naka sa synchronous na nimo online, uh, depending na ka sa from previous lesson, or kailangan pa dyan po pa-depending kaya napa yung may ilang scores na po ha, so, pwede na siya. And then, yung muna po siya, pag-introduce na po din mo siya sa yung lesson 2. Now, which is uh, more on mga resources, mag-display na kag-resources. So, example, yung muna naman, yung muna nag-i-pa-show nila, okay, at ito mo sinyo my soul, and then, yun yung na siya, i-view ang mga recordings. And then, more, dyan po, the same flow, dyan po, na kay mga specific uh, formative, like, example, mag-forum ka, and then here, the in-person na po, pag umana na po sa online, dahil yun nag-offline na sila. Nibayag na po sila o in-person. So here, you can do the knowledge uh, depending sa lesson 2. And then, na po kayo mga specific na activities. Or uh, to cater the skills, demonstration, or validation. And then, kana siya, for, pwede po yung water instruction sa inyong performance pass. Kailang dapat buhaton while na sila sa in-person. Okay, para pagka ma-online na po sila, mana po din siya. Yung muna po din siya i-activate. Uh, online, dayon forum, and then, uh, and then ilahan ng submission. So, ano na siya pag Pag-uan. Uh, but depende na ninyo sa kung sa inyo uh, mode like pwede ninyo siya lesson 1 and lesson 2 flip rata. Lesson 3 kung ano taanin with uh, synchronous online. Depende na siya. But katong ikatulo it's variant 3. So sa variant 3 again depende sa, sa flip sa flip learning pa o with synchronous online. Ato na siya hindi reduce ang number sa muani sa campus. So, pwede siya by batches, by group, or performers ng money sa, uh, sa school, then mo conduct. Uh, like sa flip, i-repeat na po na po siya. So, sa flip learning ka, so, di by batch ni mo siya according sa kinsay mo perform. So, si Lara ang naa. So, kana siya, uh, more on ang imuhong assessment is basically teacher and katong performers na. So, more na imuhong nga uh, na type sa assessment kung na ilabang nakuan ang uh, ang mga learning outcomes sa specific lesson na comply na nakuha ba nila and then sunod na po sa with synchronous online muna po to siya nga mo perform ang specific performers and then makakita na po ang mga ang ilang learners uh, via online via video con and then for here, uh, example sa synchronous assess, uh, na pa di additional. Okay, no, mana naman ta dun ni. Okay, sa assessment, di ay with synchronous online. So, mo siya. 
Again, ang, ang synchronous online, depende man ninyo kung paper-based ba. Kung paper-based, the same procedure atong ibuat sa flip. Muti niyong buhaton sa gradebook. And then, kung proctored siya, tumunin niyong summative. And then, maggamit ta o uh, safe exam browser, na which means matrape sila sa Osaka screen sa my soul. Well, the take na sila ana, na sila ka-exit. Diyan sila ka-view uh, or other nila. Okay? Nag-time naman na siya and then mo naman na siya nga screen. Internet for exam. So, ma-monitor na ang, ang, mga, ang mga learners when it comes to online exam. And then, na siya. And then, questions or clarifications sa pag-integrate ani nilang tulo sa flip learning with synchronous learning and then katong ng combination na siya by budget or by performance. We will just to highlight that uh, I hope in this time it is clear to us that we are not anymore facing two different cohorts of learners. It's basically one. Okay? One and we are integrating. That's why questions like uh, are we allowing this group of students online now because they are abroad or not? So facing that more delay because they really have to come to the class. So here again, I like uh, we are talking here about teaching strategy as part of our teaching and learning um, activities, whether blended or the hybrid. And that last. So, what Sir Bradley um, highlighted, especially on the on the rotation now, the main intention really is that is uh, if you want really to something like lessen the number of students in a class and in such a way that you don't need to repeat and repeat the same activity that you do. Uh, as I mentioned, it is applicable for, for a lecture. So it is only applicable for performance tasks, for demonstration, you know? Uh, uh, that doesn't necessarily need interaction from the listener or from the viewer. If you will ask, sir, can they attend uh, rotational, but can they attend uh, synchronously? That will not fall here. It will be under high flex. So, so, so far, <laughs> those are the six. <laughs> the remaining three variants, that's going to be next. But of course, you can create your own. You can create. You can create your own menu. No, so where the Kanisha is only really our guide. When we develop this, we try to think it holistically. Like, uh, what if your class doesn't have internet? But what if your room has uh, Wi-Fi? And what if your students are all rich and they all have their smartphones? <laughs> <laughs> no, but what if also that. Um, uh, pang lower level na uh, dili pwedeng flip, no? So, dili siya pwedeng flip, kaya dito siya. So, you do the lecture inside the class, but maybe all your submissions will be done online. Something like that. Maybe, ma'am, I'll see there are questions uh, on the Zoom participants. Yes, so thank you very much, Sir Fredly. So we are already entertaining questions regarding um, the examples and, of course, the variants for hybrid learning. Uh, we are catering questions from our um, our virtual participants, and you can just uh, you could just click on the raise hand icon, or you could also place your questions in the chat box. Sir Fredly and Sir Dave are willing to answer your questions about uh, the hybrid modality. Wala na question. Nang luod ba? Nga wala snack? Bitaw. Sorry. So, yeah, this is not a question, but this okay. is a point of uh, like an insight. I think 
allowed. From the face to face, yes, it's Sir, it's Sir Josh. Sige, go ahead. Thank you, Ma'am Auntie. Uh, with regards, this is with regards to the matter of backups, so that's her. Um, I think it's really also necessary to think of a plan B, okay, because, for instance, you're going to integrate, let's say, an online um, component later on. And of course, uh, things are really beyond <laughs> our control sometimes. So, I think it's really, I think one thing that they also would like to share uh, that I uh, reflected here is the importance of backups, so, uh, especially that uh, you will be back again for the so you cannot, uh, there's no time for you to turn your camera off and then mute and then you know stand by for a while or you see you can flash a video and then and this is already you know, even in plan. So that's one thing that I would say. Thank you, Sir Judge. I agree because the the CMO on limited face to face really require a so called learning continuity plan. Bonagina siya, technically and ideally, but uh, you know, we should do magani na to ang calibration. But uh, yes, uh, I don't agree. There should be always a backup plan. Uh, in fact, in that uh, in that uh, CMO on limited face to face, na jigging on dito ng alternate plan when COVID, blah blah blah, and so on and so forth. The same is true also when Technology is not available to you, so you should have a back backup plan to that. Because uh, while well, during from face to face to online, it's easy for us to just switch on the video and turn off the video if we're not ready. Yeah. And ingno na dayon pasangina na dayon ang internet connection. No, but anyway, that's really a good uh, a good reminder to all of us because. Uh, Basin ang uban, no? the, the comfortability and convenience in the online, and here it comes, we'll go to Facebook. Then, when it comes to the design of, let's say, you know, or say, or learning plan, like that, is there already like an administrative uh, mm -hmm. of it, let's say? Uh, because I think, as far as the recent nano is concerned, it just says that uh, we are at our own discretion. However, uh, this is also our Say another first time of transitioning, <laughs> another transition phase actually. So I'm uh, just curious uh, what kind of uh, guidance and uh, I don't know, maybe <laughs> will there be a series of approval and it's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, although uh, it's right that uh, we are, say, the masters of our field, they think that we know, um, or like we, we don't want to be in this uh, perfect or not. But of course, none of us accept that. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Sir Joss. Um, we're trying to be the, I mean, this modality, the overarching modality here is actually flexible learning. So the concept flexible learning is at any time, we must be flexible in terms of schedule, in terms of pace, learning pace, in terms of commitment, and in terms of uh, interaction with our students. I should agree and must agree that there should be a sort of, uh, what it is, a unified, Unified learning plan format, uh, recalibration process, and so on and so forth. So, um, as of the moment, wala ko'y matubag because uh, based on date, we will answer, we will actually go back really to the department. From the department, that is where, because dili magbun siya applicable, there are, although pwede tang na ay one template, but not necessarily a black and white yung kanat each other. Yeah. Uh, there might be some, you know, variations also from the different fields, specialization, the way we want in Anana. So that is why it's always the 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 stand of the stand of the COVID-19 crisis committee with Nadia ang ato ang academic affairs is go back uh, beside as a department. Uh, in fact, even during the time that we go for the May, uh, we started the May limited face to face. The decision was really go back to the department and decide it collectively. So, uh, my suggestion also is like that uh, really so good as a department, and that from the department, for sure, the Office of Instruction will guide us. Remember, um, we did some recalibration because we will really recalibrate. You no, know? we will really recalibrate from. Dilit na pun siya pwedeng 
mag-copy and paste ka from your syllabus during the face-to-face and then hindi mo siyang i-follow ka ron. Dili po. Dili po siya pwede na totally save us. You will just call us and then kung unsay na so ako ang busy, maurag yun na siya takan ha para sa person. Dili. Ato na po na siyang ipangon na tayo. But there's a a recalibration, another recalibration process. So muna, ang, 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 ang unang gibuhat sa soul office is really understanding the different teaching strategy as far as limited face-to-face at 100% full capacity. Okay, para once na ano ta, go back to our syllabus, current syllabus, ang atong buhaton karon is like this. Asa dihang dapita ang face-to-face. Diba before? Asa di rin dapita, ay wala na kay Choi, ato before, online na kayo tanan. <laughs> This time is from the ODL syllabus, look, look at which part is to be delivered or which among those learning outcomes or activity, performance tasks or assessment nga pwedeng ipanghatag via face-to-face -face or via online. Then consider your classroom. No? Consider also your classroom because uh, although there is already a, a plan to boost our to boost our internet connectivity, the internet committee. I, I sit in the internet committee and that's the plan that uh, before the start of the semester, ma boost um first dose. Uh, first dose. <laughs> first dose. Variant <laughs> boost. <laughs> <laughs> so, Anna, no. So, for those who attend, uh, I hope we invite you to learn more about. We we will introduce three more variants that you can consider. Okay, helpful put this here actually can in high uh, Just in case, like I mentioned by third dose, uh, mga backup plan and alternate plan. No, so for example, lang no. Nga, na ay mga cases dun nga dito takaan ha classroom so pwede kang mag high flex no? or there are some students na uh, dili dun siya pwede mo anha in person but he can just access online so these are pwede siya nga mga teaching strategies that we could consider under uh, high flex modality Ma'am Al, are there questions? For the virtual participants, sir, there are none. So we might as well proceed with. Uh, do you have an activity, sir, Fredly? Uh, before that, Kuno Mam Alfi, we will try a high flex photo op. Photo op. <laughs> All right. So it's high time for us to turn on our uh, cameras because we will have our high flex photo op. <laughs> with the participants uh, here in, in the laboratory. Uh, Ma'am Alf, could you stop on slide? Yes. And then si Ma'am Grace ang mag-counting, Ma'am Grace. Shout out from America. Okay. In front of one, two, three, um, so you're back now. Yes. Okay, so it's done. Thank you. For the photo op, Sir, uh, Sir Fredley would still um, present his uh, activity for everyone. Okay, for this time, I will share to you the MySoul uh, platform uh, to do your uh, act a sort of activity in hybrid learning. So you can, don't worry, you can perform this uh, within this week. <laughs> <laughs> so here. So I will just uh, share my screen. 
Ma'am visible na siya, ma'am? Okay. Sure. Yes. So, again, for our newly hired uh, faculty na nakakaroon, and then for uh, katong uban nga medyo bansay na sa MISO. So, again, you can... You can view the MISO uh, training course for teachers in the 2021 tab. 2021 tab. And then you can see here, this is the virtual classroom where in the trainings, recordings, and then it will redirect you with our current section. This is Sweet Tooling on Limited Face-to-Face -face Instruction. And then here, you can uh, click this link to uh, see the details for retooling a uh, schedule or registration. And then for in-person and uh, virtual for online teaching. And then here, you can have the question or clarification or sharing regarding the training. And then here, this is the recording section for Zoom. And as well as we will also embed uh, PDF version from the presentation from the resource speaker and then as well as the links related uh, topics or pertaining to that specific uh, topic. Uh, yes, this is uh, uh, from yesterday. So if you click this one, you can see uh, uh, YouTube link as well as a PDF version. Okay, that's the uh, Zoom uh, recording or files. So let's go back to the section. And then here, again, you will get your certificate if you submit a particular learning activity. Okay, so for our uh, previous uh, session uh, yesterday, we extend, okay, we extend the uh, deadline uh, within this week. So that's that's July 15, 2022, 5 p.m. So that is the, the activity one. And then you will answer the survey. And then if you are in face-to-face, -face, in face-to-face -face, uh, uh, training, so you will get that particular uh, certificate and then virtual training. So now I will activate the uh, hybrid okay, survey. Hybrid survey. Sir, and Sir Fred, while you are doing yeah. that, uh, kindly also um, announce that we are extending the evaluation of yesterday's activity till Friday because yes. there were already some inquiries. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So as long as you uh, you will answer this particular uh, survey questionnaire if you attended, okay? Because uh, in real time. Uh, we access, uh, in real time, we record, okay, we record those participants via Zoom. So if you are, uh, example, if nakalib mo, <laughs> if nakalib, so medyo, amo mo i-remove. So, which means din mo ka-answer sa online survey. And then here, <laughs> so, mo to siya, extended, ang blended modality, uh, Parong uh, July 15. That's 5 p.m. For hybrid, so money siya. I-answer niyo ang survey. And then forum taginag may. Okay? So forum is pertaining to the hybrid modality. So, so share your thoughts on this. So as you plan your hybrid class, what are some of the things that you need to keep in mind? And then... Question number two, what are the tools that you are currently using in your teaching? And are there any tools that you prefer to use, especially for hybrid classes? So that's the forum. So don't worry, it is not required to get the certificate, but again, it will generate our responses now for our face-to-face uh, -face training as well as our online. And then here, this is the actual uh, activity for this session. So again, this is more on a hybrid learning plan. So we have a sample hybrid learning plan. You click this one, and then I will activate now the certificate. Okay. 
So that's it. So again, this is restriction in restriction modes. So you will get your certificate if you perform this particular activity, as well as if you are considered hybrid, uh, hybrid F to F participants or Zoom participants. Okay. So questions or clarifications? I don't worry. Katong newly hired. Ako lang email ang mga certificates katong wala pa yung my soul account. Okay, naman tay mga newly hired faculty na ni join. So email lang na ako ang uh, inyong certificate. Sir Fred, can you evaluation yes for last yesterday and yesterday? Ah, survey. Restricted lang siya kung kinsa mga participants sa face to face as well as sa online via Zoom. So namatay personal na ga monitor po sa ato mga participants. So ma'am Al na pa mga clarifications coming from online. So, are there any other clarification you would want to ask Sir Fredly or the team about hybrid modality? Okay, so they are very quiet, Sir Fredly. So I think that's that they don't have any more concerns. So, okay, so I guess I. Uh, uh, Mom Grace, a uh, next slide. So again, thank you very much to our in-person okay, face to face with the hybrid learning, as well as our Zoom participants. Thank you very much for attending this uh, uh, for this uh, particular seminar on resources, activities, and classroom management in hybrid mode. So we're done with the first two, and then by next week, that's Tuesday. So high flex nata. And then lastly, is we have the uh, July 26, that's Tuesday again, by uh, designing personal learning in limited face to face. I guess, uh, Sir Dave, na by additional. Okay. So thank you very much, uh, online participants and face to face. Thank you. Thank you.